Oh, yesterday we talked about the FBI saying they're going to come after traditional, radical traditional Catholics. <laughs> uh, you know, that makes you a suspect to them if you want to do the mass and Latin because they're very traditional about it. And we were laughing about it and we said, it reminds me of American Carol. And my son and I were talking about it. It's like, yeah, remember when they did this? Uh, the FBI has now pushed back on this. I said, uh, they don't normally comment on internal intelligence reports because usually the internal intelligence reports are not leaked. Uh, but they addressed this memo after it was published by an FBI former agent, Kyle Serafin, whistleblower. Uh, they said um, uh, it was dated January the 23rd, came out of Richmond, Virginia office. And uh, as he said, when he put the report out there, he says the FBI apparently believes that white supremacy has found a home among Catholics who prefer the Latin mass. And so um, the, uh, he said they're crossing a line many Americans will find themselves on the wrong side of for the first time in history. This is what a politicized FBI looks like. And, uh, of course, we all know what a politicized FBI looks like because it's been that way from the very beginning. It's just been politicized against the other side. Uh, Jager Hoover is a, it's always been a politicized FBI. But now they've come back and said, uh, this report does not meet the exacting standards of the FBI. Upon learning of the document, FBI headquarters quickly began taking action to remove the document from FBI systems and to conduct a review of the basis for the document. Uh, doesn't say that they repudiate it, right? Uh, they're not going to repudiate the Southern Poverty Law Center. Southern Poverty Law Center has been targeting people for the longest time. They're political opponents. Uh, it's, this is a politicized FBI that takes direction from the Southern Poverty Law Center, from the ADL and the rest. The Common Man. They created Common Core to dumb down our children. They created Common Pass to track and control us. Their commons project to make sure the commoners own nothing and the communist future. They see the common man as simple, unsophisticated, ordinary. But each of us has worth and dignity created in the image of God. That is what we have in common. That is what they want to take away. Their most powerful weapons are isolation, deception, intimidation. They desire to know everything about us while they hide everything from us. It's time to turn that around and expose what they want to hide. Please share the information and links you'll find at thedavidnightshow.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. If you can't support us financially, please keep us in your prayers. thedavidnightshow.com.